Well, hello and welcome to the BabeMonkey Show. My name is Alex and before I get into today's topic, let me first of all apologize for not uploading content uh, recently. Unfortunately, I fell ill a few weeks ago. I was in Peru and I ate something called ceviche, which is a uh, raw fish and my body did not do a good job in digesting it and for several days I was stooling all over the place and uh, well, <laughs> thankfully, I have fully recovered, so I am eager to get back to creating content. So today, I wanted to do something a little bit different from what I typically upload on this channel. Usually, I upload uh, long tutorials, tutorials on how to build websites, how to use a particular kind of plugin to its fullest. But what I wanted to do today is just to have like a conversation with you and Today's topic is just going to be on WordPress security where I will just provide you with some few tips on how you can improve the security of your WordPress website. So this is the first time I'm doing something like this and hopefully you will enjoy uh, today's uh, tutorial basically. So today's topic is going to be on WordPress security and why not? Security is so important and every day we keep hearing about different kinds of websites, WordPress websites getting hacked and most of the time it's because the owners of these websites did not take the necessary steps to ensuring that the site was safe and secure from hackers and malware. So what I want to do right now is to give you six tips on how you can quickly and efficiently improve the security of your site. And the very first tip here is going to use, is going to make use of a plugin known as the WPS Hide Login Plugin. It's by WP Server, Nicolas Kulka and uh, Tabrist. However you pronounce that, I have no idea. But basically what this plugin does is that it hides the default login URL for your WordPress website. We all know how to log into your standard WordPress website. At the end of the URL, you simply add forward slash and then wp-admin and that will take you straight to the login page. But what this plugin does is that it removes or disables that default uh, login URL. You then have to provide your own uh, customized login URL. So as an example, I do have the plugin installed here on one of my sites, ufablogger.com. It's active. So in here right now on the settings in general, you can see I do have the WPS, WPS hide login section and I can add the login URL. So I can change it from the login, which is default provided by the plugin to something different like uh, uh, bad cave as an example, you know, I can I can do that. So if I need to log into my site now I'll need to use forward slash bad cave and then you also have the redirection URL where if anyone tries to access the default WordPress login page for your site It will redirect them to this particular page and you can actually make fun of someone trying to log into your WordPress website You can create like a very funny page calling them out saying hey if you're looking at this page it's because you tried to access the login page of my site without my authorization, shame on you, something like that. You know, so you can create a very special page and uh, put it right here if you want it to. But let me just go ahead and save my changes in here and just show you how this would work. So the new URL is now Batcave. So let's see how this would actually uh, work. I'm gonna go to ufablogger.com. Let's press enter. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to access the back end with wp-admin and uh, let's see what's going to happen. And there you go, it says, it says, oops, page not found. Sorry, this page doesn't exist. So it's only until I actually come in here and I add, oh, sorry. Let me change that to bad cave. That's when I will not be taken straight to the actual a login page for the site. So this is one tip that I can provide you to improve the security of your site. Now in full transparency, I usually do not use this plugin or even this method because I do have lots of different sites that I manage. So it's going to be a bit difficult for me to keep track of the different custom uh, login URLs for each website. But also because I have implemented far more advanced techniques towards uh, securing my site. So even though this helps, it's not like a game changer. However, if you are not going to implement more advanced security uh, procedures on your site, I can highly recommend that you uh, use this uh, plugin to change the default login URL for your site. So moving on to the next plugin, that's going to be the WPS Limit 
login plugin. This is one that I use quite a lot. It's also by WP Server and Nicolas Kulka and uh, Benoit Geek. Apparently, they got someone else to work on this particular plugin. What this plugin does is that it improves the security of your site by limiting the number of uh, incorrect attempts anyone can um, make use of when trying to log into your site. So the standard is usually, well, there is actually no standard. You can log in as many times as you want on a WordPress website, but with WPS limit, you can reduce that number to like maybe three attempts or even four attempts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how this plugin also uh, works. Let me just go ahead and quickly log into my site. Okay, let me just add the password. Okay, so let me go, come down here to plugins, make sure that the plugin is actually active on my site. Let me scroll down here. Okay, so you can see right there, it's active, WPS limit login. Now, if I clicked on settings, in here I can make quite a few changes. So the standard here is three allowed retries for a period of 20 minutes. So every 20 minutes, anyone is allowed to attempt uh, three, or make three attempts to log into the site. So I could change this. I could make this two attempts, change the number of minutes from 20 minutes to maybe one hour and do things like that. So there are other few little uh, changes you can make in here as well. But Right now, this would be the standard two retries for a period of 20 minutes. So if I save this, okay, and now I go back, I log out, and now let me try and log in. Let me just type in something rough in here. Oh, it says uh, one attempt uh, remaining. Wow. Okay. Let me, let me try and log in right now and see what happens. Okay, so basically now it said, well, incorrect username or password. Uh, too many failed login attempts. Please try again in 20 minutes. I don't know why. I should have gotten two attempts, not one attempt. Maybe uh, my password manager tried logging me earlier with the wrong password. I don't know. But basically right now you can see that I can no longer log into the site until uh, 20 minutes. So this is a very useful plugin for preventing what's known as a brute force attack. If you don't know what a brute force attack is, it's basically an attack where a hacker gets your username and then tries different combinations of letters, numbers, symbols to get the right combination for your password. Now you might be thinking, but that will take a lot of time. Yes, but they do have software that can make thousands of attempts per second. So unless you have like a really strong password, they can pretty much crack your password in, in no time. So that's one of the reasons why you really want to create a very strong password, but also ensure that you have this kind of security in place where you can limit the number of uh, incorrect uh, login attempts. The next step is going to involve the use of a fake admin account. Now take a look at the site I currently have right now. I do have the admin username. But the standard security tip is usually that you're not supposed to have the admin username active on your site. But keep in mind that it's not the actual usernames that are powerful, but the roles are assigned to that username that will determine just how powerful or how weak that actual username is. So take a look at my site right now. I do have the admin username, but it has the role of a subscriber. So if a hacker tries to gain access to this site and they discover that, hey, the admin username does exist, he or she will think that such a username must be associated with an admin account. So they will spend the entire time trying to crack the password specifically for this admin username, not knowing that it's just a subscriber account. So this is a little nice trick that I like to play on hackers. I like to troll them this way, and it's something I can recommend that you do as well. So moving on to the next tip, this will involve the use of SSL. And I do have a video on YouTube uh, where I demonstrated how to add SSL to your site. SSL stands for the Secure Sockets Layer. It's basically used to encrypt information on your site. And I strongly recommend that if you don't have SSL in your site, get it. Because specifically, if you have like an e-commerce site, or any kind of site where 
visitors have to provide information, whether it's credit card details, usernames, passwords, stuff like that. You absolutely need SSL. But even if you have, let's say, a blog, Google and other major search engines now reward you with extra SEO points if they discover that you have SSL because it tells them that, hey, your site is secure. You are taking all the necessary steps to ensure that your site is safe and secure from hackers and malware. So Google and other search engines will reward you. So please get SSL on your site. And if you want to discover how to do so, you can check out the video that I have on YouTube or you can even contact your web host and tell them that, hey, I need SSL on my site. Help me. Now, moving on to the very next tip, this will involve the use of a major security plugin. The one I could recommend you the most would be uh, WordFence. And I, in fact, I do have a full tutorial on YouTube. It's almost 30 minutes long where I demonstrated how to use WordFence from start to finish. And uh, it actually has 176 likes, no dislikes. And of course, I've just cursed the video because I'm pretty sure someone's going to watch this video right now and is going to go in there right now and put a dislike, but it's okay. So. WordFans is one of those um, mega security plugins that provides you with lots of different options for securing your site. You can run scans, implement firewalls, do all sorts of really, really cool stuff with WordFans. And in fact, if you're going to go with WordFans, you can also implement the uh, limit login attempts. So you might not need to install the WPS uh, limit login attempts plugin we talked about a bit earlier because with WordFans, you actually have that available for you as well. So I can highly recommend you check out WordFence, check out my, my tutorial. I'll put the links in the description box below. And then let's move on to one more tip and that will involve two-factor authentication. Usually with two factors, what happens is once you try logging onto your site, once you've provided the username and password, you will then be prompted for a second security check where you might need to, uh, you, you might receive an SMS on your phone and then you will have to type in the code that you received or you might be asked to answer some security questions basically it's a an extra layer of security and i strongly highly recommend that you implement this and i just discovered that i actually don't have a tutorial on how to implement two-factor authentication so i'm guessing that might be my very next tutorial here on youtube i'm going to show you exactly how you can implement two-factor authentication but there are some really good plugins in here you've got the Opdraft plus uh, I'm sorry, you've got a two-factor authentication plugin from the creators of Updraft, but then you also have the Google Authenticator uh, plugin as well. So maybe I might show you how to make use of both plugins or at least one of them. But two-factor authentication is something I can highly, highly recommend. Last but not least, I'm pretty sure you must have heard this before, but it doesn't hurt to remind you about this. Please ensure that all your plugins are updated your plugins, your themes, and even WordPress itself. I know it sounds kind of like a cliche. People have told you this several times over and over again, but trust me, one of the easiest ways for hackers to gain access to your site or corrupt your data is to exploit a plugin or theme that's out of date. Make sure all your plugins are updated, your themes are updated, WordPress is updated, and I can guarantee you that you would limit the chances, chances of hackers are uh, cracking your site. Keep your plugins, themes, and WordPress updated at all times. Now, finally, before I go, there are some extra security uh, procedures that you can implement on your site, far more advanced than what I've just talked about. If you're interested in learning more about this, I do have a special course on my website, webmonkeyacademy.com, titled the WordPress Security Masterclass. It's for 20 bucks, but I'm going to provide you with the code. You can get this course for just $9.99. If you're interested, I'll put the coupon code right there. But basically what I do is I walk you through the basics of WordPress security. And then I go even further, walking you through some really advanced uh, steps that you can take to fully and properly uh, protect your site against hackers and malware. You can see the curriculum right there. And as a bonus, there are also different WordPress security plugins that I'll walk you through on how to implement. And there is also a very special section where I show you how you can fix a WordPress that has been hacked. So that's pretty much it for today's lesson on WordPress security. I know it's different from what I'm, I'm usually used to, but let me know what you think. Do you enjoy 
conversations or chats like this if you if, if you do please let me know i can make more like this maybe we can talk about maintenance seo best plugins things like that just general topics on the wordpress uh in general basically so if you like today's uh, tutorial do let me know hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this do subscribe i will be uploading more tutorials on a regular basis and uh well my name is alex it's been a pleasure bringing you this unusual tutorial thank you for watching and of course i will see you next time bye bye